life will always give us some questions. There will be times when, when we have to take time to search ourselves and, and saying with all of these things out here, these roadblocks and these obstacles, what is it going to require on our part to make it happen? What's the final determining factor that will determine whether or not we're losers or winners in life? And here's what the answer is. It's you. No, it's not your circumstances. No, it's not your past. It's you. You're going to determine that. No, not what happened to you. No, no. It's you. It's you. You will determine whether or not this mission that you're on and I believe that we're all on a mission. I believe that we all have a purpose. And we didn't just show up just to work every day and, and face some hard experiences in life or go home after work and, and pop a can of beer and sit in front of the television set. No, I don't think that life is like that for us. I think that we all showed up here on a divine mission to do something. See, all of us have to begin to work to overcome certain things that we have picked up along the way in life. You've got to watch the energy that you're around and you've got to start searching yourself to ask yourself, what is it? Is this really me? When you look in the mirror, when you look at your life, when you look at where you want to go, you've got to ask yourself the question, is this really me? Samuel Smiles says, life will always be to a large extent what we ourselves make it. What we make it. What you make your life. Not what circumstances will make of it. Not what other people will make of it. But what you make of your life. That's what your life will be. Not what other people say it will be. Not what the environment will try and dictate to you. No. What you make it. Live now. A common consciousness will keep people from living up to their true potential. Here's something that we must begin to realize and acknowledge. We were all created to be winners. All of us. How can you prove that? We can prove it by our consciousness. Just by our subconscious mind. We were destined. We were born to be, to be winners. We have been endowed with greatness. I think the challenge is to, to begin to become in alignment with who we truly are and work diligently to manifest our greatness. And I'll give you an example that all of us do that demonstrate this. If, if you ever dream, whenever I had any dreams, I've never been an athlete before, but anytime I have any kind of dream about sports or movies or anything, I'm always the star. A friend of mine, she had she did her father's eulogy and people were amazed at her how they knew that she was daddy's little girl they knew that they were very close inseparable and I asked her how did you handle that how did you do that because everybody knew that that was not only her father but her closest friend and she said that that the day that he died she said she was in his room and she was talking to him, you know, she said, Daddy, I love you, but I'm a big girl and, and I, as much as I want you to be here, I want you to do what you want to do. But I must tell you, Daddy, I love you and I'm going to miss you. And I'm afraid of thinking of life without you. And she said, our father started moving his lips and he couldn't speak too loud and she got closer and he said to her, You're going to be all right. And she said that gave her the look in his eyes. That gave her a certain assurance that there was something that even death couldn't conquer that was in her father that was now a part of her. And that was death could not take his spirit.